What is up, guys? How's it going? Urbex Dave, Mr. Freaktography, back again for another big bad Urbex adventure. Right behind me, guys, we're in a big Ben church. And uh, looking, looking around here, look behind me, it's in pretty good condition. For, uh, for the location it's in, for the city it's in, I'm very surprised that there's no vandalism, there's no damage. It's, uh, it's doing pretty good here, guys, so I'm happy, to hear, I'm happy to be here. I've actually known about this one for a while and uh, never got around to getting here. And now I'm here and it's open, so I'm very happy to see. So it's not gonna be the biggest video, because it's not really the biggest place around. You basically have your sanctuary here, and then you have a room in the back, and a cemetery outside. So we're gonna check everything out. We're gonna walk around, we're gonna take some pictures. We'll do a little bit of detailed stuff, we'll get up close. But guys, what do we always say? Cue the music, cue the intro. I'll see you guys on the other side. In today's adventure, we're exploring an abandoned church that dates back to the mid-1800s. The land for both the church and this cemetery were donated in 1848. The original landowner had obtained the land through a patent from the Crown on July 14, 1841. Both he and his wife, along with several of their children, are buried here in the cemetery on the church grounds. Stay tuned as we explore this historic 171-year-old Methodist church. Okay, guys, let's just start right up here. We are up on the balcony. Maybe some people call it the mezzanine. I'm going to call it the balcony. That's where we're at. And uh, as you come over here and you look down, you can see rounded, uh, rounded pews. Take a look right down there. It's very dusty in here, guys. And uh, I will do whatever research I can and provide that research on the voiceover. And you guys can learn about this place and find out where we're at and what's going on here, why it's closed down, what the history is. And uh, we'll go from there. We got a piano down there in the corner. And then the altar. I've seen some pictures of the altar. It's been kind of taken apart, uh, unfortunately. And uh, there is some plants in here. I don't know if they're real or fake or not. And also, those, and there's an organ right there. There does seem to be a homeless person living in here. Um, I haven't seen him or her. I, I did a quick walk around when I got here. I haven't seen the individual. And if you're here, Mr. Homeless or Mrs. Homeless person, it's all good. Come on out if you want to be in my YouTube video. I'm not here to bother you. I'm just here to shoot some video, take some pictures. Anyways, guys, there's your windows over there. We'll take a pan across here. Take a look up here on the balcony. Beautiful stained glass window right there. Okay guys, let's make our way downstairs and we'll take a look at the main level of the church because up here on the balcony, well, there's really not much to see, guys. So let me take a look here at the stairs as I'm walking down so you can see. And here is the very small lobby of this church. Interesting here, we got some Tim Hortons cups with, uh, with some dirt in them. Not too sure what's going on there. Anybody ever watch Breaking Bad? One means yes, two means no. Anyways. So here we go, guys. We're in the main sanctuary now, on the main level. Take a walk through here, and we'll get a nice shot right from the center. It's very dusty in here, guys. I didn't already say that. There you go. Check out the dust here, guys. I'm going to show you the dust. It's very dusty. Ready? 
very dusty right there. Here is your piano here, guys. See how she sounds. Pretty good. Hey, that's not bad. Here, let's do this. Okay, she's working good there. Here we are at the altar. Head on up here, you got a picture of the church from back in the day. You got a picture of uh, Jesus from back in the day. And then you got a picture of Jesus and all his sheep. Hey, Jesus and the sheep. Are they lambs or are they sheep? Anyways, that's a nice picture. I'm sure many people would like that. And then if you take a look up here, guys, it says, blessed are the pure in heart. Take a look around here from the altar. There you go. Starting to lose a little bit of sunlight, guys. It's getting a little bit dark. Here you got, uh, well, you got some space here to put some flags up, but there's no flags. And then here you've got a photo of a bunch of old people. This church was built in 1843, guys. And then here we'll take a look at the organ. Whoops, wrong way. I always do that. Go the wrong way. There you go. It's a beautiful organ. Very, very dusty. Let's see what's inside. Oh, no. The organ, uh, the organ stool doesn't open, guys. So we can't see what's inside the organ. So here's what I was telling you guys about. That uh, there's a homeless person living in here. Because here's their sign right here. Traveling, hungry, anything helps. Thanks, God bless. So I don't know if they're going to come home while I'm here or what. But uh, it's a pretty dusty place for a home, homeless person to live. But hey, I mean, beggars can't be choosers, right? Now to move on back here, guys, into this back room. Just a big open space. Here. I turn my light on here so you guys can see what's going on here. Whoops. Whoops. One, two, three, four. We got some robes in here. Check it out. I might just have to put one of these on later. And do a picture. And here we got, oh, there's our, uh, there's our flags, guys. Maybe take that out and we'll put it up. It'll look pretty cool. And here we've got some decorative uh, materials that have been taken off from somewhere and being stored. Perhaps they're going to be preserving this place. Who knows? We got here. Got nothing in there. Let's take a look what's in here, guys. Nothing. Well, we got some envelopes and stuff and some old paper. Beautiful beckoning hands. What's that? Take a look. Oh, it's sheet music, guys. This is sheet music. Take a look here. There you go. Beautiful beckoning hands. That's nice, guys. That's really nice. Oh, and we got some more music here. Some more sheet music. And what's this up here, guys? What's this going to be? Oh, this is postcards of the church. There you go. Church postcards. 1843, guys. 1843. 
Well, this here lifts up and see what's going on down here. Books, guys, we've got some books here. God is always with us. That's good to know. That's great, guys. Let's go. Take a look. Some Bibles and some books and some teaching guides. Oh, here we go. Okay. So here's where people sign their names, I guess. So what's up, Secret Lens? I saw your pictures from here. So let's do a... Uh, Let's do a little freaktography while we're here then, okay? Right here in my grade three handwriting. There we go. Okay? Secret lens. Freaktography. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. All right, here's some clothes. Quite possibly our homeless person who's been living here. This could possibly be... His or her clothes, not too sure. And uh, take a look in here. We got some chicken soup right here. Check it out, chicken flavored soup. We got some church shot glasses here. Doing up some shots, hold on. There you go, you got some shot glasses there. Okay, guys, continuing on, we're going to check out some of, uh, see what else we got here. We got some glassware up here, and here we got a mirror. So we're going to give you guys a what is up, guys, but not only a what is up, guys, out loud, but check out my t-shirt, guys. My t-shirt says what is up, guys. And did you know, if you hit that link on the bottom of my video, you can also buy yourself a Freaktography what is up shirt if you so would like to. Anyways, so here we've got some certificates here given to the church over the years for various things. Certificates of recognition. Now, I mentioned to you guys that there's, there's a homeless person living here. So what we got right here is we got a loaf of bread here, guys. It's, it's a little bit dusty, but it's still soft and it's still good. So what that tells me there, guys, is that there's a homeless person and they're either hiding in here somewhere or they're out right now and they're going to come back. I just hope that when they come back that they're not all angry that I'm in here in their house because I don't intend to disturb any of their stuff, right? Okay, what do we got here? This thing here seems to be hiding something back behind here. Well, that's the, uh, that's the uh, furnace unit, so that's a very creative and unique way of hiding the furnace behind uh, wood paneling. Here we've got another uh, a table. Got some dusty sunglasses on there. Very dusty, guys. And then we're gonna head back here. And then here is your back door, your back area. This is basically like the kitchen here. So we got a stove, right? Captain Obvious. Some shelving and what have you. Got a mirror back there. I won't do the what is up, guys, because you guys get mad when I do that. And I already did it once. So, all right, I get it. I get it. Okay, so not much to see back here, guys. So... <clears throat> Here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to just shut up now, and we're going to take a nice, easy, slow walk through, and I will narrate some history while I'm walking through, okay, guys? So sit back, grab yourself a drink, take it easy, and uh, let's take a nice, quiet walk through. The community where this church is located had built a log frame church during the first year of the settlement. As the town grew and there was a need for a larger church, a man by the name of Joseph Garner donated land for a church and a cemetery in 1830. The existing church that I am now in wasn't built until 1843 and it was made entirely from locally made bricks. 
The church has been modified several times over the years. By 1869, the town had grown large enough that more room was needed and the church was expanded to add a Sunday school room. In 1897, the church basement was excavated and a furnace was added. Church union occurred in 1925 and the name of the church was changed to a united church. Two years later, the first electric lights were added, replacing the oil lamps inside the church. Finally, in 1957, a small kitchen was added. The first recorded burial in the church cemetery took place in 1837. Joseph and Catherine Garner lost two infant daughters, both of whom were named Catherine. The first one perished in 1837 and was buried on the corner of the family farm. Later, both Joseph and his wife Catherine would be buried in the cemetery that surrounds this church. Okay guys, like I said, we're gonna keep this one short. Not the biggest place, not the biggest abandoned building we've ever seen, but it's still pretty interesting. So keep this one short, 15, maybe 20 minutes. Hope you guys have liked this one. I provided a little bit of narration, so you guys get a little bit of history, and you got to take a look around and see the place. And what are we gonna say here, guys? A few things. Number one, let's just take one more look down here, guys. Guys, this is my what is up, guys shirt. You can get this in girls, in men's, in large, extra large, small, extra small, white, black, blue, red, any color you guys want. If you guys want a Freaktography What Is Up Guys shirt, hit the links underneath the video, you guys can get one. Number two, hit that like button down below. Number two, number three, drop me a comment down below. Number four guys, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Got all kinds of good stuff for you. So guys, I gotta go, running out of sunlight. Gotta take some pictures. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. See you guys on the next time.